Hi everyone welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. My ex GF leave me to another guy and turn out the guy was a narcissist and I feel sorry for her. My ex, 29 F, and I, 29 meters, met in college in 2013. I was 22 and she was 21, we became fast friends and eventually we developed feelings for each other. We became a couple a year later, it was a great relationship and I don't regret it. Fast forward to 2016, I was home when she called me saying she was outside and that we needed to talk. So I went outside and I saw that she was crying in her car. I went up to her and asked what's wrong. She confessed that she cheated on me. I don't want to go into details because I'm trying to keep this short, I was shocked, hurt, and was teared up. She went on saying that we needed to break up because I deserved better than her and that she developed feelings for AP. I warned her about rushing it with someone else and that a relationship that begins by cheating usually ends badly. After we finished talking, I walked back to my house but before I went in, I turned around to see her one more time and she was still crying. Once I went inside she posted on social media saying I wish I could just disappear with a crying emoji. I proceeded to remove her from social media after that. As I was mourning the end of my relationship, I also thought about how her new relationship will blow up in her face. Fast forward two years later, she messages me asking me to meet up because she wanted to talk. I knew the day had arrived. So I met her at a diner, I live in New Jersey, and she was miserable, she looked like she was crying before we met up. When she saw me she gave a weak high and gave her a cold one. This surprised her and got teary-eyed. I started by asking her what she wanted to talk about. She started saying that she and AP broke up two weeks ago and admitted that the relationship with him was horrible. It turns out he was a narcissist, who emotionally abused her. She also admitted that the guilt of what she did to me never went away and that I was right. She then noticed my emotionless expression and turned away saying you used to be so happy and silly. It hurts seeing you like this and I know it's my fault because of my bad selfish and dumb decisions. She went to say I'm sorry for everything, I thought about you every day for the past two years. She then said not only did I ruin us but I lost my best friend, you were my best friend and I ruined that. She started crying again saying I'm not here to get back together because I don't deserve that and I have no right to ask that. I proceeded to say that it's true that you don't deserve me. It gets quiet and she turns away again. She then said that she missed me and that she missed me for two years, then she asked me to be friends again. I told her I can't promise anything. She starts crying for the final time and I leave the diner, as I was walking out I turn over and she's still crying how history repeats itself. In the end cheating ruins the cheater and the victim. Never cheat, it's usually never worth it. Edit, so because I got numerous requests I'm going to post what happened after I left the diner. Hi everyone, I have decided to do an update to my original post due to numerous requests. This will be my only update since there's nothing else to say afterwards. Before I go any further I have some things to clarify about my original post. 1. The AP was emotionally abusive, I know because my ex showed me her texts, and it was full of no one will ever love you like me and you're ugly. Also he broke up with her by text. What a scumbag. 2. She did try to reach out to me multiple times during the two years she was with AP, she asked how I was doing I'm sorry and are you okay. I ended up not responding. I didn't block her because I was waiting for when her relationship blew up. 3. Friends and family actually saw her during the two years and they all said the same thing. She looked miserable and when she saw them, she would run up to them and ask how I'm doing, and tell me that she will never stop being sorry. 4. The diner meeting happened in 2018. Now back to the story. After I got home from the diner she messaged me saying if we become friends again I'll work my butt off to earn back your trust, and if not please know I'll always be sorry for everything. Fast forward a year later and I bumped into her while buying lunch. We caught up and I wasn't as cold as before. I will admit I'm a little embarrassed about what I did next. I offered her a FWB with me and she accepted. The FWB lasted for a few months. When I look back, I think I did it for closure and to show her what she's missing. I ended it because I felt that I got my closure. She was disappointed but also understood. A few months later she started seeing someone new and they dated until early 2020 before the pandemic hit. 
She showed up to my home unannounced and revealed to me that the new guy cheated on her with multiple women and actually blamed her for the cheating. Just like the AP, the new guy broke up with her by text. Wow, she went on saying how much she hated herself for what she did to me, but now she understands how I felt. I gave her a hug and told her to take these lessons and never forgot them. She thanked me and left. Fast forward to now, I heard she's an IC and remained single by choice. I saw her mother recently and she informed me, as for me I'm single and working on myself. I'm getting into shape and I'm working in psychology, guess what inspired me, thank you for reading my story. I appreciate everyone who read and replied. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell.